as a creative, you ever put something forward to the client uh, on the music side saying, this is the track that we think is working and they've just not had it? <laughs> so many times, yeah. Um, at the BBC, it's very difficult to get anything um, retro out because we're constantly striving for an under 35 audience. So Yeah, why is that battle so hard for the BBC? I don't know. Well, it's, it's relevant. So the BBC is obviously struggling with um, not struggling. It's its biggest challenge is Netflix and the way people consume media today. So there's a younger audience, um, and the logical th- thing to say is right. If we're appealing to that younger audience, it needs to be sort of a modern track. And yeah, we've we've meant, had a few times sort of w- what we think that you know it might be some sort of soul track from the seventies or some. You know, I'm sure we've mentioned had some Herbie Hancock on a. Yeah. Um, recommendation once but uh, no it never never really gets away um, and then sort of again being a big fan of the charlatans uh, Tim and I almost put um, um, one to another on a voxel ad and in hindsight I'm really glad that they turned it down because it would have ruined one of my favourite tracks <laughs> yeah yeah, not so not for the price tag, just for your uh, satisfaction. It would have been a bad choice. Yeah, it would have been bad, um, and that was a funny one. Even Adele, uh, she turned down three hundred grand to use her ad, her song on that ad as well. Um, and we ended up with um, Noel Gallagher's debut uh, solo single, I think. What, well, aka What a Life? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 